Now we're going to take the white bark and we're going to put a whole package of it into our pot. I like using the microwave milk in most of these items, but this one's so super easy, you can mix it all in the pot at one time. So I figured, what the heck, go ahead and put it in here. This takes a matter of minutes. You know, and we buy a lot of this and just keep it at home, you know, and have it when we need it. Okay. So we use a whole package of that, and then we use one can of sweetened condensed milk. I use the Food Club brand. I try to use Food Club brand as much as possible. Save us just a little bit of money. And they're, they're wonderful products. And we're gonna melt that for just a few minutes on a lower temp. We'll wait for that to melt. Now, while we're doing that, I have chopped one and a half cups of gumdrops. And this, this is, you know, hit or miss. Uh, not, I bought one of these containers. Actually, they're fruit slices. Did anybody know that uh, we now uh, carry fruit slices or spice drops? That regular gumdrops are basically non-existent in the United States now. So you have to buy fruit slices in our area, but same, it's the same, you know, same thing. It's just, it's just made in a different, you know, just a different little kind of thing. It's a slice instead of a drop. And uh, I take a sharp knife and dice these up. And one of these containers uh, actually will make two, uh, two batches of fudge. So it's, it's three cups in a container, just a little over. All right, let's see if that's gotten too melty. Here we go. It's trying to melt down. Well, while that one is trying to melt, we may go ahead and start on our other fudge. And I'm sure all of you all know how to, oh, through the years, to chop fruit slices, so. <laughs> okay, we're just about there. And this is the gumdrop fudge. I know I've got two of them going at the same time now. Okay, we're gonna put an eighth a teaspoon of vanilla, which I think I've got sitting over here. And take that off the eye. Got a little warm, I do believe. I, I got a little warm. The stove, I turned it up a little bit. I'm looking for my measuring spoon. Well, half a teaspoon. We'll just barely put a drop in here. It's actually an eighth, so it's very, very little. This is the gum drop. And then all you do, we'll cut this one off, is add your gumdrops. They mix a little better if you've just freshly cut them up. Okay, and you just stir that in. You stir your vanilla in, you stir your gumdrops in. Stir it up really well. And this is a really pretty fudge. Not really. They still, they do just a tad, but uh, they soften them a little bit, but they don't actually melt. Okay, and that also calls for a full line pan and, and a nine inch pan, but I'm putting it in a larger pan and it works just as well. I'm gonna pour that in there. And you'll be surprised at how pretty it really is once, once it has set. It takes about an hour to firm in the refrigerator in a pinch, you can always throw it in the freezer for a couple of minutes. It's a whole lot prettier after you uh, 
you let it settle. I'll let you look at it. And where my gumdrops wanted to set a little while when it got warm up here, they wanted to stick together a little bit more. So it's best to cut them right as you are getting ready to put it in. And this is our gumdrop fudge. And it will set, it will set very quickly also.